some things I experience supernaturally, I guess sometimes I can't explain it in words. Sometimes it makes no sense. Make sure that you continue and or begin praying for me. And you may say, Kevin, it seems like everything is okay with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, I believe when a person or people are helping others with things of God, I believe that demons are not going to stand idle when that is happening. For instance, let's say that demons are manipulating you now. Let's say that a person or people are helping you to change. So pretty much you can say, okay, that person or people are helping you so that demons have less control over you. Now, do you believe that demons are not going to do anything about that? Think about that. If someone is throwing rocks at your new car, are you not going, are you telling me that you are not going to take any type of action? Like you are going to stare, <laughs> like you are going to stare at that person and not call the cops or get that person or people to stop throwing rocks at your new car. I believe that you are going to do something. Okay, so if demons are manipulating you, have some type of control over you, and a person is helping you to get out of the control of demons, okay, I believe that the demons are going to do something. I can tell you some things that happens to me that makes no sense. Let me say this. I believe I was half sleep and half awake, I guess. And <laughs> I don't believe the windows were open or any window was open, I don't believe. Somehow, I guess some wind was going around my face. And I guess my mouth and nose. And it was feeling like I could not breathe. To where, how can I say this? Like having, <laughs> like having something like over your nose in your mouth over your nose and mouth to like where you could not really breathe and think about this the wind was i guess you can call it wind was over my face not my arms not my legs but around my face as if I was being suffocated. And I woke up 
then I tried going back to sleep and it happened again, I believe. The third time or after the second time, I believe I prayed for like an hour or more to go to sleep, <laughs> to be able to go to sleep. <laughs> Do you know how many times I get awakened from like a crazy or like a bad dream or something like that, which are supernatural, I believe? I can tell you more and more and more and more, and I am not complaining about it. You may believe that praying is insignificant, as in you may believe that prayer is something a person can do without. Listen, <laughs> I believe when you elevate more in God, I believe you are going to see how important prayer is. I can't think about not praying for two or three days. I believe if I was to do that, some really, really crazy things would happen. To even pray for less than an hour, man, I believe the higher you excel in God, the more stronger the demons. And if you are helping people with God, I believe that more attacks are coming toward your way. Warfare. Let me say this one thing. I was praying, I have been praying, I forget what I was praying about. I believe I was praying against witchcraft, abortion, child trafficking. I forget. I was done doing something and I could see this phantom, ghostly like whatever fading in and out while I was awake, while I was awake. And that demon had some type of, was coming in in these different types of colors, like in these light, I can't say yellow and green and I, in these colors, these bright colors. And I could tell, I believe that, I could tell that that demon was angry and it was coming in and out, fading in and out in these different colors. <laughs> there was something else that happened, I believe earlier this week or last week. And I believe what happened was pretty extreme and I don't really like talking about it. I believe I told one person, but it happened while I was awake. And man, in at that same day or on that same day, I believe like a really, really bad order came in my home as well. When I saw that, I guess you can say that demon. <sighs> I am not telling you this to complain or to make you feel sorry for me. 
I am not. I am telling you this to show you that I need prayer. Now, I believe back in the past, I would get really angry and or sad about the things that were happening to me. But what can you do? <laughs> Pray about it. So I need prayers. Now, if you can't pray that long, hey, whatever. Pray for 10 seconds, two seconds, one second. Kevin or God, please help Kevin. Done. <laughs> but I really, really do need prayer. I am only one person. And trying to help certain people I believe I guess I don't know some people may believe that I don't have feelings like a person may believe that hey they can say this to me or treat me in this type of way and within a week they can come back and act like everything is okay between me and that person listen i have feelings i cry too i hurt too you can't be so focused on yourself you really have to think about what you are doing to others. You can't just treat a person like, I guess, somewhat like trash. Then, I guess, two weeks later, you change your mind or whatever demon that was that was upon you gets off, then I guess you may believe that you can come back and everything is okay, as in I should accept you as if nothing happened. <laughs> uh, so please pray for me. I can tell you, man, a while ago, for almost a week, I forget when it was, for almost a week, it felt like my energy was so drained, like unusually drained, unusually drained to where, man, makes no sense, makes no sense. Well, I believe they are demonic attacks. Yes, I can pray for myself. Yes, I can do this. I can do that. But think about this. If you help out the person that are helping out others, okay, I am one person, right? And I am helping out others. Now, if you support me in some type of way, then I can help out more people. Or what you can do is get right with God and begin to teach other people as well. Not just, I guess, take from people as in taking from people as in just listening listening and learning and growing without praying or doing something for the people that are helping you. I believe for anyone that is doing the right thing toward God and helping people, I believe all those people are being attacked 
in some type of way. You have to understand this. I believe that. So we need to pray for those people as well. We need to support those people as well. Now, if I, let me say this. Now, the thing that I would do, but I believe I would feel very guilty about it, what I could do is like shut down everything and do my own thing. But I would feel very, very bad about that. And that would be on my conscience probably every day. This is not easy, not at all. So really take heed to what I am saying and I am not trying to make anyone feel bad. I am not trying to get you to pity me. No, I need prayer, not pity. <laughs> because pity is not going to do anything for me. Believe me, I don't believe. I don't believe pity is going to do anything for me. I don't think so. I need prayer. So keep this in your mind and think about the people that are helping you in God. I believe things are not easy for those people either. So think about that. God bless you.